Good morning, everybody. It is Lisa. I am in the process of trying to rearrange my room. I'm going to see if I can hold the camera or my phone. This, you can see it. This is the hospital bed that was just delivered a few days, well, two days ago. Um, this is where we had our queen size bed. That's over the corner was where we used to have the refrigerator, which I took that out, and that is in the shed. Um, that is my husband's dresser that I need to move somewhere, and that's our TV, which I need to put that somewhere, and I don't know where I'm going to set it. And then here is my dresser with all my crap, makeup, face stuff, everything. That I need to organize, straighten up. Then I have some storage bins here. As you see, they're just plastic containers. I just took the fan off of this one. I have it sitting over here. I need to, like I said, I got to rearrange because I have to move this somewhere else. This one I might be able to keep here once I move my husband's hospital bed in this corner. Um, the chair, I'm going to have to move, obviously. Um, I'm going to have to clean off the back of that window. Um, I might have to take down these shelves that my husband put up for me for my bath body work stuff. And I might have to try to get a something where you put your TV on it. Um, this is our TV. And you see it's like 924 in the morning. Um, I have to get something that I can mount to the wall, um, excuse me, to the wall, and that maybe will move out so I can put my TV there. Um, like I said, he got his bed a couple days ago, and the guy called like an hour, hour and a half to let me know that he was delivering the bed, and I had to get my old bed out of here and luckily my brother's girlfriend was still here because she was getting ready to go to work herself and she was able just to help me get the mattresses like the mattress and the box springs out and I got that in the living room right now and so my son is supposed to come hoping and pick it up this weekend because I'm giving him my old bed um oh it's a lot and when you're working with a small area it's hard to find room for it. I would love to be able to put, y'all can see, the TV behind the door. But the only problem is people coming in might hit the TV. I mean, that would be like the only place that I have where we can see it because I'm putting the beds this way. But I'm afraid that people will hit my door. I mean, hit the TV if I mount it in the back of the door. So... That's probably going to be a no there. And this is the cat. This is Lucy. That is my daughter's cat. You might as well say she's kind of mine too because I've been taking care of her for the last month. She's My daughter is still, she's at her dad's. She got released from the hospital. I don't think I ever did an update on that. But she did get released from the hospital. They came down, her and her, her brother, which they're twins. But they don't look alike. Um, they came down Saturday was it, yeah, Saturday, and took me out for lunch for my birthday, because my birthday was Sunday, June 11th. So they took me out for lunch for that, which I, I appreciated. She knows I like uh, Sauceria. They got some really good food, and that's where we went for lunch. And she said something about she had a job Monday, something with vacuum cleaners. But I haven't had a chance to uh, speak to her and um, talk to her and see how things went, because I don't know if her phone's still on or not, because... She was behind on the payments, um, and I'm not able to help her. I just, I don't have the money. I had to get gas yesterday, and I had to use my credit card to get gas, and I don't like doing that. So, things are a little tight until I get paid, because I had to pay the cable bill, and that was $190, and that kind of left me like 30 some dollars in my account right now, so I don't want to touch that. So, just getting things ready. Um, my husband is definitely getting discharged Friday. I spoke to my boss about getting off Thursday and Friday because I'm having some medical 
um, supplies and stuff delivered Thursday and somebody needs to be here for that so I asked her if I can get off Thursday and Friday and she like, kind of like rearranged the schedule I am working Saturday and Sunday which I already knew yeah I'm a mess I'm sorry I haven't done anything since I got up but I am working Saturday and Sunday morning and now I have to work Friday not Friday Monday night she asked if I can work Monday night, so that way I won't get any points for taking off Friday. Because um, we have a point system at work. If you uh, late take off, you get a point or so. And if you get over, I think, 27 points, you could be terminated. So, but she asked if I can do Monday night, and that she can rearrange the schedule to have somebody cover Friday and Thursday. And I said, yeah, I'll, I'll figure out something. Um, my husband, like I said, is going to be home. I'm hoping that the in-home care people will be able to cover Friday. If not, um, her his daughter Patty, so that she can bring the kids down and she'll sit with them if need to. And I think Jesse, his other daughter who's in uh, Mississippi, is coming down Friday. And she said if I, the in-home people are not ready to come in and take care of them while I'm at work, that she can take care of him during the weekend while I'm at work. So, I mean, he's not going to be alone. He's he's not allowed to be alone. He has to have somebody with him at all time. Because um, he still needs help with everything. I don't know. That is, you know, this is the only light that I have in my room that works. Sorry for the glare, but that's the only one I have that works. I need to get a, a lamp. I probably want to get a stand-up one. And... Maybe even another one. I don't know yet. I am sorry. I'm sorry for that, Claire. Um, but it's like the last few days, last weeks, I guess the last week or so, um, it's been kind of hectic. I am happy that my husband is coming home, but I'm also scared because now I told, I'm telling everybody, I want to have two full time jobs work, of course, and also taking care of him. And it's going to just take time to get adjusted to all this. Um, I'm sure we'll be fine. I'll get everything ready and we'll get back on a routine. Um, my living room, if y'all seen my video last night, is a total disaster right now with, with hospital stuff, beds. Everything is, everything is so piled up in my living room. My dog's looking at me like I'm crazy. Like, why are you talking to yourself? But it's like so much I have to do. And I just don't really have the time. I have his brand new wheelchair sitting over here in the corner. His brand new hospital bed, which I definitely have to get a phone topper for because the mattress is just not really that thick. And I can, when I wake up, because I've been sleeping on that the last couple of nights, until I get my bed set up, which my brother and I are supposed to do that today. They're going to put my bed frame stuff together when they get home because I'll be at work. And they're going to do that today. Um, so that's why I'm going to move the dresser over the TV. Probably have to take that down until I figure out what to do with it. Um, until I get the mounts for the walls and I can mount it on the wall. I really wanted to paint the room. But don't have time to paint it, so it's going to have to be in the back burner. Uh, eventually, one day, be able to paint it, and then have time to organize it. With his bed, I do like because it I can get plastic containers. Sorry, I'm trying to open my door. All right, here we go. Plastic containers and store stuff underneath it because it sets high up. Um, also with the platform that I got from my mattress has drawers in it, so I can use that for storage too. It's just I got to get the stuff set up so I can go ahead and start putting stuff in it and reorganizing my room. But I um, just wanted to come on and let you know. I mean, I'm stressed right now, but I'm doing it. I'm, I'm getting shit done. Excuse my language. Um, and he's coming home Friday. I told him I probably won't come see him today because I wanted to do a little bit of stuff before I have to go to work. But I will see him tomorrow after I get the medical supplies delivered tomorrow. 
and then Friday he's coming home. So, yes, finally, after almost nine months, it will be nine months, the 19th, that he has been in hospitals and nursing homes and rehabilitation, he's finally coming home. He still has a long way to go. Um, like I said, he still needs help with everything. He can't be by himself, but he is making progress. He is getting better. And I hate insurance. I have insurance, but they don't show, they're not making any improvement on where they're at now, then they stop paying. Yes, insurance sucks. You have to have it though. It's good in some points, and then it's good in other points it's not, because he's not making progress fast enough that they stopped his therapy. But we can do his therapy at home. I'll work with him with that. Um, he can walk with help with a walker. Um, he is able to wheel himself around. He just got a long way to go, people. I'm not lying. It's, it's going to take time. All right, let me get off here. This video is getting really long. All right, y'all have a nice day. All right, bye.